today I'm going to Kim Kardashian's plastic surgeon. I'm all bandaged up. I love that. Hey girl, good morning and happy November 30th. Can we take in the fact that Vlogmas is tomorrow? Vlogmas day one, December 1st starts tomorrow. And by the time this vlog goes up, it's gonna be December. But today I have a very exciting vlog for you. I think you're gonna be a little shook. So today I'm going to Kim Kardashian's plastic surgeon. Outfit of the day. This is from Forever 21 Urban Outfitters. I forget somewhere in Australia. And browns. Shh. Okay, so remember last month when I got a tattoo? Don't need my hand. Wow, clammy. This one to be exact. Yeah, I already regret it and I'm getting it removed. Okay. Here we are. Got my coffee, got my razor bagel, and because along with my little tattoo removal, I'm also going to be doing something that I've been looking into for the longest time, liposuction, which is transferring fat from here to wherever you want, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm kidding, I wanted to make a joke. But ain't nobody got time for that. I see, I seen Trisha's videos about her thing, and like, girl, do what you want to do. Like, I have nothing against plastic surgery. I'll probably get a little boob lift when I get older, when gravity does its thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but like, yo, liposuction looks like, that ish looks like it hurts so bad. And that's why I'm so excited to go to, I'm going to Dr. Simon. He has done like Kim Kardashian. He's done every celebrity in LA. There are multiple articles written about it. I'm going to be going to his office today. Adeline from the future here. If you guys want to get anything done, then make sure that you do your research on everything. Don't just trust what influencers say. Don't just go off of one person's opinion. Make sure that you look at all of the reviews. Make sure you do all of your research so you don't want to damage your skin. Make sure that you go to a good person because I feel like when I said that I'm going to the Kardashians doctor it was like I was trusting their opinion don't just trust an influencer's opinion make sure to look at all of the reviews girl that's all and you know what my mama gave me something and I kind of like it so like you know I'm fine with how I look like right now other people may say otherwise like mm, maybe I fixed like some things in other people's opinions but I you know what? I'm okay I'm okay with how I look so I didn't really want to get anything done but I saw one of his services is tattoo removal so I was like girl I got this tattoo done maybe like a month ago and I don't know if you can see it's like faded and like I showed my manager and she was like girl it's healed like that's what it looks like forever and I'm like <gasps> my option my only options were I could either get it touched up in New York because I got it done in New York or I could get it removed and eh, kind of regret it a little bit so we're gonna get this tattoo removed <laughs> sorry Haley, I love you but I just like girl, I don't know I think maybe it just like healed weird I swear I, I did everything that they wanted I put the thing on I moisturized I put the lotion on like I did everything I stayed out of the sun like, girl I live in Canada there's no sun besides the one time I went to the Bahamas but like that doesn't count okay that was for work I had to but I'm really excited I hope that it doesn't hurt it that bad because yeah, I don't know like people say that a tattoo hurts but it didn't really hurt that bad apparently tattoo removal hurts even more than getting your tattoo done so we will see how I feel about that but nonetheless I'm really excited to have the Kardashian experience you know what I mean I'm very excited but I know this is a very sensitive subject so girl, if you don't like something about your body you know what you do you fix it any way that you want if you you wanna, I don't know, if you wanna, I don't know, do what you gotta do. I am pro body positivity and your body's your body. Do whatever you want with your body, I don't care. This is my body and I want tattoo removal. <laughs> Made it to Beverly Hills. I'm in the room right now. I don't see like any laser machines like move this, but it's all white. Everything in here is all white. It's like so clean. But I like signed some papers and stuff like that. I'm gonna sit down. Um, but I'm like kind of nervous, but I'm excited. I'm gonna be tattoo free again. I can swatch on a bare hand. So here's what the tattoo looks like right now. I'm trying to get like the best lighting. One of the ladies just came in. She asked me a bunch of questions. She said I could film everything, so I'm like, all right, you guys, I'm here with Dr. Simon right hey now. Guys, and I'm doing? so excited to finally be getting my tattoo yes. removed. And I feel like I'm, I'm at the best place to get it done. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. We're about to go and get it done right now. In one second. It's like the <laughs> easy help is something in our time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. awesome. Boop, boop. We're numbing it. It looks like it hurts, but it doesn't really hurt. And now I'm moved to 
to the upstairs level. My wrist is all, look at how like weird it is. It's like bubbly, they put like a numbing thing on. It doesn't feel numb right now, but. <laughs> they have the lasers here. We're doing the laser. <gasps> I'm watching the Ariana Grande music video because it just came out and Gabby's in it. Wait, 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 look at this, look at this. I feel like I know the intro like by heart. And I broke off an engagement. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, I love that wig on her. She literally looks like Regina. This looks like the movie. Oh my God. Don't go. Sorry, it's not the best look. <laughs> I got it done. I'm all bandaged up. And now I'm just gonna head out. I thought it was gonna take longer, but it was so fast. on Rodeo Drive, just got some surgery done by my plastic surgeon. The doctor designer. <laughs> How do I look in my poofy jacket? Makeup on feet, heading to some meetings. My cats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so hyper, I need so much coffee. I could be Beverly Hills mom. Kids, soccer practice is coming up. I'm just like really stressed out recently. Like I just, like I just, I just need some shopping therapy. Like yesterday I was at Chanel and I like, I really wanted this bag, but like my husband, he's just, he told me I have a shopping problem, which I know that I don't. I know that my friends are worse than me. It's just like really stressing me out that he's like not letting me buy this Chanel purse because I'm like, how am I supposed to go to Jimmy's soccer practice when I just, I have last month's bag. <laughs> Okay, um, I have to go to a meeting, for real. Let's enter it in the GPS. We're going to Cafe Gratitude because we are so grateful we live in Beverly Hills as a Beverly Hills mom. I feel like by the end of this, I'm gonna have 27 million unsubscribers. Thank you, next. Oh, girl, I could just walk there. Should I just pay for more parking? Look, we'll drive there. Ain't nobody got time for walking. Chris Jenner, when she says thank you, next. <laughs> I love Ariana Grande. Chris Jenner in general though. If you guys have seen the Ariana Grande Thank You Next Music video, please let me know what you think. Was it everything that you ever wanted? Because that fulfilled my childhood. Childhood! I am so hyped, but I just want to run. Oh, talking about this. I didn't really talk about it. Sorry if I'm talking really fast. Oh my god. Hey sisters. I love you, James Charles. I thought the tattoo removal was gonna hurt really, really, really bad, but like it I didn't even I barely felt it. It felt like Literally and I think that it has to do with because they put the numbing cream in and I was like is it gonna hurt later? And they were like nope This is the worst part and I was like I love that love that for everyone But it's not completely off. They said I have to have like five sessions, which I'm like ah, skirt what but you know what we live We learn things happen. We remove tattoos okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, wow look at this Wayne Scotty. This is nice oh, wow. Gosh, wow. And I'm here with Mark uh, <laughs> Now I'm on my way to Yoli's house. Yoli is the most amazing, kind-hearted soul. She's a facialist and she does every YouTuber that you could ever think of. I love her so much. She has such great energy. So what I did is I went to Rite Aid and I got her a little gift, just like for the holidays. So I just went with like the classics. Like, so I got her a card, I got some Freya Rocher and then I got some fuzzy socks. Cause I don't know, I feel like it's just, if you can spend a couple bucks to tell someone that you appreciate them, I think it's worth it. But I was just kind of like writing on the card right now look I, I drew a little mickey mouse i'm trying to do a mickey mouse mouse with like a little um face mask on look at <laughs> okay i'm gonna go in look at how satisfying Duh. and these cards are recyclable made with recyclable paper and they're eco-friendly I made it to Yoli's. I had my facial. It was amazing. I love Yoli. I love you. And she's so beautiful. Look at her hair right now. Ooh, that's your natural hair? Yeah. No makeup, no blood dry. We love a natural, natural queen. <laughs> but I got my face all done and I'm yes. so happy. We love Yoli. Make sure to up. follow her. Yoli Glow and Tatcha. I'm in such a good mood. I freaking love Yoli. But girl, I feel so bougie today. My hair's a little crazy because she was like massaging it. You know what I mean? I'm just having a gratitude moment. I'm trying to have a gratitude moment. Oh shoot. I'm grateful for knowing that I have to be in the other way. <laughs> I love having gratitude moments because thinking of all the things that you already have and thinking of all the things that make you happy, it just puts you in a good spirit. It puts you in a good mood. I'm 
so thankful for my friends in LA. I'm so thankful for Yoli. I'm so thankful for social media, which is how we met. I'm so thankful for my apartment in LA. I'm so thankful for the plane so that we can travel. I'm so thankful for money. And it's okay to be thankful for money. I feel like people are weird about being thankful for money, but money is just a way that the world goes around. It's just a thing that we all need to eat. It's a thing that we all need to have a place to stay for home. So it's okay. It's totally okay to be thankful for money. I'm thankful for this sunset because it's so beautiful right now. I'm thankful for my car so I can get home. I'm thankful for my camera and my job. I'm thankful for my family at home so I can see them tonight. Because I don't know, I don't know if I told you guys this, but we are literally flying back home to Toronto tonight. A red eye flight. This is a freaking LA vlog. <laughs> this is a Kardashian vlog. We're, we're going to a plastic surgeon. We're getting a facial done. We're doing meetings. We're flying to the East Coast. We're in LA. <laughs> I'm thankful for Rosie for editing this video. I'm thankful for you guys for watching this video. I'm just having a grateful moment right now. I encourage you guys to do the same. Just think of things that you're happy and grateful for and more things that will make you happy. The more things that you should be grateful for will come into your life. I always tell people that. The universe is in love with people who are grateful. Girl, I'm gonna stop freaking preaching. Oh, we're gonna have to go to the apartment. Clean a lot. Girl, you're gonna see my apartment right now. It's messy because I still have all of the clothes. I have all of the boxes from Palm Springs. So we need to clean that up before I leave because I hate leaving my apartment messy. I just, it doesn't feel good. We're gonna do that. Made it home. I feel like my hair is like so crazy. Using the Adeline Morin script which you guys actually sold out of, which I'm like shook over. I knew that you guys would like the Beat Bop Cruise, but the scrunchies were kind of like a little surprise launch. And I was just like, I'm so thankful for you guys. I just, I love my merch so much. We're actually working on different scrunchie designs. And I think you're gonna be a little shook because it involves a sunflower design, a Beat Bop design, um, and then just like a plain one. Cause I don't know, I like to throw in a plain one just to wear with every outfit, but <laughs> I feel like I can't bend my wrist that much or else I'm gonna ruin the band-aid. I am procrastinating. Fascinating. We gotta charge her before we leave. Oh, she's gonna be dead. I'm gonna miss Baybex. I'm gonna have no free hands. <laughs> I'm watching Legally Blonde because our Grande's video came out and I, I don't remember it. I swear, I swear that I've watched it, but I just don't remember it. And I was asking Meg, I was like, what's the nail salon scene from? And she's like, Legally Blonde. So I had to refresh my memory and rewatch it, but I love Bring It On, Mean Girls, all of those movies, literally my childhood, 90s Kids Unite, oh my God. But I'm like kind of embarrassed to show you. I don't know if we're gonna conquer it all today, but if we can even conquer a little bit of it today, I'll be happy. So <laughs> we're gonna be cleaning my clothes. Closet, my room, in the boxes. We're gonna conquer that today. We're gonna watch the movie. We're gonna clean while watching the movie. It'll be amazing. We'll have amazing time lapses. Super satisfying. I hope you're ready for this. Let's go. Are you cleaning because I'm blonde and my boobs are too big? <laughs> laptop now sunflower yellow just kidding I didn't like it I took it off <laughs> another day and just like that we are done cleaning my room look at how clean the floor is wow we can walk around wow wow the only thing is when I get back to LA, I should probably deal with this as like a bunch of stuff that I want to give away. And then this bad boy. I don't even want to open to show you. It is a little bit of a mess. Just a teeny tiny, a teeny bit. Yeah, no, 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 We're keeping that in there. But I just called my Uber. I'm gonna get, gonna go to Toronto. And I'm gonna see Blue and Lola. And I'm so excited. But I also, once I land, like a couple hours later, I have to go to school. So I'm like, Ugh. hopefully I'll be alive for it. We'll just drink a lot of coffee. But hopefully I'll be able to like pass out right away on the plane. I'm so happy that we got to clean. I hate like coming home and then it's just like a big mess. So now we only have a little mess in the little mess. <laughs> the majority of it is like, we could just, <sighs> but not now. 
out now we have to go to the plane I just boarded my plane with five minutes to spare <laughs> Oh my gosh, I finally made it home. It's currently 6 in the morning right now. Hi, baby! <laughs> Lola wants to be in the vlog. She's like, I missed the vlog. I need a shout out on Instagram. Blue's like, me too. Add my veggie name, Blue. <laughs> Lola! I tried to do a tip of the day! But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Lola's smelling my lotion right now. She's like going crazy from the tattoo removal. But today's tip of the day actually comes from Twitter. It goes to Tilly May on Twitter. She's wearing her Girls of Morning Girls scrunchie and it has the yellow one, the polka dot one, and then the one with blue on it. And Chi Chi on Twitter, she looks so cute in her little Bebop hoodie. She's the first girl that ever tweeted me in wearing her Bebop hoodie. And then today's tip of the day goes to Adeline with an X underscore on Instagram. Shh, look at them. You guys, I'm trying to end the vlog. Their tip of the day says how to be happier. Embrace yourself, acknowledge the sad, create and meet goals, find fresh inspiration. Blah! Sunshine and rainbows celebrate everything feel content and forget the destination I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog I had once I got on the plane I just knocked out and I feel like I'm like good to go for the day I'm about to head over to singing class and then I'm going to school, but I'll see you guys in tomorrow for vlogmas day one I don't know if this doesn't really count as vlogmas, but it is December first when this vlog goes up But have a beautiful magical wonderful day. I love you guys. Bye. Blue say bye. Bye Ha 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 ha